Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Master on Twitter 2 you're back for another episode of Guardians of the Galaxy. Episode 3. More than a feeling. A feeling. So we ended this by going through some magic door or something. And then we were just in a white white like hall. Let's see where we take off from there. I hate how long these loom screens take. Jesus Christ. Previously, on oh, Guardians of the Galaxy. I'll let this play and then I'll talk again. You don't know a lot about me, but before I met you guys, there was someone. She's gone now, but. Maybe with that relic, I can make her... ungone. I know you've got a lot on your mind. But that kid you fought, maybe he does too. Promise me in the future, you'll use your words instead of your fists. I will, Mom. I promise. Thank you, baby. The Eternity Forge resides here, pending such time as it can be wielded responsibly. Until then, she shall remain entombed across the galaxy. Come find me, Peter. I'll be waiting for you. Okay, then. I forgot about that church scene when we first saw Yondu. Ah, game series is absolute choice you make, but the story is tailored by how you play, okay. You're nearly there, Peter. I don't trust this. That's the quickest type of screen I've seen. This is gonna be a dead end, isn't it? Whoa! Oh, another, that's another flashback, okay. I got it, Mom. Thanks, baby. Another headache? Just a little one. Stop worrying. It's fine. Just took me by surprise. I wish I could help. I know you do. Some things, Peter. They're not yours to control. I better get that prescription before the pharmacy closes. Stay out of trouble till I get back, okay? Be good. I know that's not always easy for you. I'll be a perfect little angel. Like always. <laughs> I better hurry back then. <laughs> I'll be back soon. Hey, Pete. Hey, Mr. Pinkle. Here to get that mixtape copied? Yeah. Sure is a nice thing to do for your mom. How's she doing, anyway? She's fine. Well, glad to hear it. Both sides? Come back in about an hour, and it'll be ready. Hey, Petey! You make that mix for your boyfriend? <laughs> I made it for your mom. Watch it, or you'll be swallowing your own teeth. Afraid I'm gonna break it again? <laughs> you afraid I'm gonna hit you again? <laughs> Listen to you. <laughs> Pretending you got balls. Hey, how's that lip doing? How's your Give eye doing? What are you doing here anyway? You don't have money. 
Everyone in town's talking about it. Your mom can't even pay her medical bills. She's been going door to door asking for help, like some pathetic loser. She's probably off looking for change in the sewers right now. Don't make me hit you. Oh, you're threatening me now? Go on, take a swing. I won't even feel it. You gonna cry now? Huh? You done yet? Elephant ears? You must get great reception with those things. Nah, I'm not done. But your mom? She sure is. My dad goes drinking with her doctor. Told him everything. Guess she didn't feel like it was important enough to tell you. <laughs> oh, check it out! Dead woman walking! What's the point? Drugs ain't gonna help. My dad says you're gonna die anyway. Where'd you get those bruises, huh? Your dad? Or does your mom have a good swing too? I'm gonna go to your funeral just to see your son cry. <laughs> get out! My dad's gonna- Out! <laughs> you kept your promise. You didn't fight that jerk. I'm proud of you, Peter. Even though I didn't set a very good example. The things he said. I let my emotions get the better of me. I'm sorry you heard that. No, Peter. It's okay. He said you were dying, Mom. Is that true? Find me, please. So close, Peter. <sighs> what the? What the How hell? How did I get home? Gamora! Um, Gamora? Hey! <laughs> Sorry, I didn't catch that. This, <laughs> this temple is really messing with my head. Again! Uh, what'd you say? Hello, Gamora! Oh, hey, come on. Come on, what? Nebula. What are you doing? You can do better than that. Not Nebula. It's me, Peter, who you like a whole lot and definitely do not want to kill. Come on, this isn't fair. I don't have a sword. No, oh, for God's sake. Wait! Gamora! Uh. What's Gamora seeing? Focus, Nebula. You need to be aware of everything around you. Perception's just as important as strength and speed. None of them are important when I'm stuck here. I want to use what you've taught me somewhere outside of this room. I'm sick of just doing the same thing over and over, every single day. Be patient, Nebula. You'll get your chance soon enough. So now I need patience, too? Looks like you've lost your touch. <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> that 
was actually a little impressive. <laughs> Just a little? Okay. I can't... Gamora, you're hurting me! Nebula, you have grown so much. Father. You may yet be the greatest assassin in the galaxy. Don't you agree, Gamora? <laughs> yeah. I do. She's come a long way. What a pleasant surprise. Perhaps being bested by your sister recalled the importance of humility. I have a mission for you. You will go to a Kree outpost on the planet of Phalion. There you will find General Tarval. He has come into possession of something I require. A device. Gamora, you will fetch the device for me. You, Nebula. You will kill the General. Thank you, Father. I, I promise you, I will succeed. I know you will, daughter. Gamora, you were always my favorite, but you have become cold, distant. We will not disappoint you, father. But you already have, Gamora. Otherwise, you would not be taking Nebula with you. Go and prepare. You will head out immediately. And Gamora, I know you no longer care, but if you fail, your sister will pay for your missteps. Oh, what? Tell Nebula I wish to speak with her. <sighs> Is everything all right? What's going on? I couldn't hear you, but Father... He didn't look happy. <sighs> Thanos wants to talk to you. To me? Okay then. Oh, this is this one mainly uh, being Gamora. That's good. I guess this is it. My chance to prove myself or fail miserably. <sighs> good luck, Nebula. I don't need luck. You train me for this. I won't let you or father down. Let's just do this. What the hell? That's a big ass armor. Bam, bam. Nebula. Oh. 
Uh, I want to see what happens if I don't do it. Shit. <laughs> I thought I could let like, Nebula win. Nebula! Nebula! Nebula, are you alright? Are you hurt? Why? Why did you do that? What? I had him. That was my kill, and you took it from me! My father will be so upset with me. I won't tell Thanos, I promise. We'll keep it to ourselves. Father... Give me the device. Nebula, what are you doing? You took my kill. Give me the device in exchange. Give it to me, now! I'm not asking here. Do it! Why? Gamora, hand it over. No, that's not how this works. I don't take orders from you. Then you leave me no choice. What are you... Son of a bitch. <laughs> I was trying to snap you out of it before you killed me. Well, that's not the way to do it. <laughs> well, apparently it was. <laughs> Stop. Stop slapping me. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Don't do that again. I don't know what happened. One minute you and I were walking into the temple, and the next yeah, was... Yeah, I, uh, I know. Wait, were you... Did you see all that? My memory? Are you okay? I've been trying not to think of that day. Because I really want to fix things with Nebula. But seeing that... She thought I was being selfish. Taking away everything she worked so hard to achieve. That's why she turned on me. I saw what happened. You were just trying to protect her. You can't blame yourself for that. I'm not so sure. That last moment... It became everything. All I remembered of her. There were times we were happy, despite Thanos, despite everything. We had each other. Maybe, maybe I could have done more. Been more honest with how I was feeling. Stop just seeing her as someone I needed to protect. I know you, Gamora. And I know you tried your absolute best to protect her. Nebula can't see that, then that's her problem, not yours. Is it? Nebula is who she is because of me. No, that that's not true. hatred, that coldness, her inability to trust anyone. She is Thanos' daughter. Who else could she be after I betrayed her? I failed her.
Listen, you are my friend. And I don't make friends with failures, okay? I, uh, don't think that's true. Look, the point is, no matter what you did in the past, I will always stand by you. You're awesome. I'm proud to call you my friend. That is so cheesy. I know, <laughs> but I think I've made my point. Yeah, that was really cheesy. Now, come on. I regret picking that. Let's figure out why the Forge brought us here before things get even more... Weird. Oh, man. My mom loved this song. She played that record non-stop. Peter, wait. This place... It seems to be using our memories against us. We don't know what we'll find inside, or why it's been drawing us here. Yeah, well, if anything goes wrong, you'll be here to protect me, right? <laughs> You're not saying anything, and it's super worrying. <laughs> Gamora, seriously? Do you recognize this place? Yeah. This is where my mom... Uh, this is where I saw her last. I don't know what all this means, Peter. But I hope somehow you get your mom back. Only one way to find out. I see another white flash, I swear to God. Ah! Are you? Manta. <laughs> you have known me for a while now. Not your mom, right? Definitely not. You... You came for me. After all these... Mantis, Ooh, no, not Manta. These? They're very shiny. Mantis. Hey, over here. Oh, Peter Quill. Really, here it's been centuries. No, 
Millennia. How do you know who I am? We have met. But I was not me. What? Huh. Whoa! Thank you. May I borrow that? <clears throat> You're gone. It will only be for a moment. Man, this is usually uh, good. Yeah, sure. What? I have another one. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Okay, now how do you know me? It's so wonderful to be free of that tomb. No longer trapped in my own mind. Alone. You are truly the hero the legends foretold. So brave and handsome. Nah. Though. Perhaps not in the classical sense. What? Ha! You must have many questions for me. Take your time. Why were you locked in here? So that you could find me. Not very helpful. I have been waiting for you all this time. The moment you touched the forge, I knew you were the celestial one. What? That you could free me. So I reached out to you the only way I could. Through your memories. The ones most vivid to you. But you must understand, I had no control over them. I... Oh no. That is not what I wanted at all. I am so sorry. I truly did not know you'd feel so violated. I'd hoped you would feel glad to see her again. I did not mean for my abilities to hurt you. How? Your mind is clouded with so many emotions, <laughs> so you seek answers. But those answers will not help you. How could you possibly know how he feels? I can show you, angry lady. Oh, no. Never mind. May I show you? Please, I mean no harm. Thank Do it again! Do it again! Come on! <laughs> Great pleasure. Oh, this isn't going to go well. Oh my, you and your friends truly are special. No wonder you are the ones to hold the Eternity Forge. It is an honor to be among you. You see, I am an empath. I can read the emotions of others. It is my duty to help the Celestial One decide the fate of the Forge. That could really come in handy. <laughs> oh, she's got to meet the rest of the group. Yeah, introduce an emotionally charged being to a group who are emotionally sensitive. <laughs> who should we try on first? <laughs> Drax, Groot, Rocket. You could understand Groot. Right, Groot? I got just the one. <laughs> I used to see Mantis in the, in the films that I didn't realise that she's this silly and this. I thought she would actually have some set in snow. <laughs> I am oh. Groot. This tree man has profound love and affection for everyone in this room. I am Groot. Oh. Not everyone. Some of you he has mixed feelings about. <clears throat> he is pleased that someone can understand. She's also the one who made us relive our memories. That was you? We went halfway across the galaxy, got chased by that psycho holla for a party trip? It is my job to guide the Celestial One. 
What the hell does that mean? The Celestial One? You messed with our minds. Why? She thinks I'm someone called the Celestial One. How about that? Celestial what? Why is there only one? And could that one also be me? Oh, I can explain. Long ago... Wait, wait, wait. Are you gonna spew some long mumbo-jumbo about where you come from and why I should care? Yes. Is that a problem? Remember Thanos? Going on like, now that I got this, I'm gonna roll through the galaxy like a giant turd and blah, blah, blah. The answer is magic. It's always magic. Well, I, for one, want to hear it. All of it. Then it's time for a nap. Go ahead, Mantis. <laughs> Enlighten us. Of course, Peter Quill. I have communicated only through my feelings for years. It is nice to communicate with my mouth. <laughs> Eons ago, the Eternity Forge coalesced into existence as a way to balance the life energy of the universe. To create, you must destroy. And to destroy, you must create. But such colossal power cannot be wielded oh, yeah, lightly. So I was brought in to ensure that the forge was only wielded by someone deserving and to help guide the wielder down the right path. But I waited and waited. Years went by. Many unworthy tried to use the forge. Some even tried to force me to help them. The Kree yeah, decided that the, the no culture forge. had matured enough to use the forge with the wisdom required. Eventually, the forge and I were separated, locked away until a time when civilizations could reach the peak of wisdom and maturity. And that is only the beginning. Well, thanks a lot for that, Pete. Hmm. What an interesting and relevant story. Aren't you glad we heard it all, champ? Someday, Quill, I'm gonna blast you out an airlock. I have not yet gotten to the most important part. Kill me. <laughs> there is a legend of the Celestial One. The Chosen One who shall arrive from the stars to use the Eternity Forge. This Celestial One. What are they like? Advanced intellect. Emotionally mature. Wise being capable of navigating the dark waters of immense power. Someone who can see beyond his own selfish desires to choose for the greater good. Yeah, I think you got the wrong guy here. I'm just a kid from Earth. It does not matter where you were born. It only matters what you do. You are the Celestial One, Peter. Oh, you're so full of crap, lady. If Pete is this Celestial What's-It, then why didn't the stupid forge work? Sure, it brought him back. But when we tried to use it again on someone else, it didn't do a damn thing. Your loss. I can feel it has been with you for some time. The forge is limited right now. It can only restore life to a body that is mostly whole and undeteriorated. <sighs> I am Groot. You said right now. Now, does that mean that things might be different later? Yes. You can change everything. How? The Celestial One must deliver the forge to the Sacred Shrine. There, you can unlock its true power. Or destroy it forever. And that true power is what? Returning anyone, from any time period, back to the realm of the living. Oh. Lost ones, loved ones, I suppose hated ones too, if you were so inclined. You can bring back anyone? Like, anyone at all? Anyone who ever existed can be brought back, so long as you have the required energy, of course. One life for one life. So someone still has to die for the thing to work. Then let's finish our drinks and go use this thing. Yes! Really? Who are you planning to kill? Well, you're kind of annoying me right Hala now. Hala wants to use this forge to raise her army. We have to destroy Not it. Not until my family is returned I to me. I am Groot. Right? Groot says he's on my side. 
That's three to one, Gamora. We win. That is not true. Groot feels the opposite. Uh, I mean, maybe something got lost in translation. Hey, okay, not cool, man. Don't lie to us. I'm sorry, I just don't want that thing destroyed until we use it. Oh, and lying to you, that was a one-time thing. I am Groot? Okay, a two-time thing. So, it is a tie then. Two for using it. I am Groot. I'm gonna take a guess. He said two for destroying it. Don't you get what this means? We can bring back anyone that we lost. At a cost. Wow. Uh, okay, this is, uh, <laughs> it's a lot to process here. Kind of heavy on the responsibility, you know? It's, let me think on it. <laughs> well, one way or another, this all ends at the shrine. Can you take us there, Mantis? I have never been, but with your help, I believe I can sense its location. May we have some space to concentrate? Gladly. If anyone needs me, I'll be emotionally unavailable. And that's new. Ha ha ha. <laughs> what are you doing? Helping. Hmm. Maybe it is best if you sit still. Right, <laughs> of course. I cannot sense the shrine. There is so much unrest among your crew. Their emotions are overwhelming me. They look to you for guidance. Help them. Okay, let's talk to Grass. Drax. Calm down. Drax, how are you doing? I was angry that you did not allow me to guard Nebula. But that... <sighs> but now, I am hopeful. The Forge can bring my family back, if you choose to use it. Well, I... So I must trust you would not take away my chance to reunite with my wife and daughter. Even though you did not behave in a trustworthy manner. Huh? You used that antenna woman's powers without permission. It was wrong of you to do that, even if the tree did not mind. Come on, it wasn't that bad, was it? Our feelings are our own. They belong to us alone. Oh, come on. You're all a bunch of spoiled sports. What Mantis did is freaking awesome. You guys need to lighten up. Losing weight would not have changed anyone's feelings. Her ability to see into our emotions, it must be difficult. I would not wish to know the pain of others as well as my own. Thank you for checking in on me, Peter. You may leave now. <laughs> Thank you for checking on me. Now can you fuck off? <laughs> hey there, Groot. For them at once. Oh, is that a friend of yours? I am Groot. I'll tell you this, we're all gonna be okay. No matter what happens with the Forge. I am Groot. Hey bud, what's up? Well, if it ain't Captain Indecision. What are you... I, I don't know what's holding you back from doing the right thing here, Quill. I mean, I can count on one paw how many folks ever get a chance to bring back someone they love. I am Groot. I see your point. I do. And who knows, maybe you're right. Look, I'll think about it. Good. Think about it long and hard, Pete. We got this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. We shouldn't pass it up. Hey, P. You know, you know what you... You know what you... Well, that's one way to deal with emotions. I am brute. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
Fine. Fine! Hey, are you okay? The hell was that? I tried to say everything I could think of. I thought maybe if I asked her to stick around for a while... Ugh. She won't hear it. Not from me. She'll barely even look at me. So don't give up on her. Family is always worth it. I know, I'm really trying. But I just can't find the right words with her. But maybe... Maybe if we had more time, I could try talking to her again, when she's calmed down. Give her some space. Without losing her altogether. Well, they say time heals all wounds. Who's they? I Good have question. no idea. Maybe I can get her to hang around. Just maybe not right now. Think she needs some alone time. I swear to God. How about now? Not that I can tell. There's still... something blocking me. Where's Nebula? Isn't it? I'm gonna have to talk to Nebula. Hey, Nebula. Yeah, uh, hey, it's me, <laughs> Peter Quill. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, but you know that. You mind if I sit? Cool, yeah, this is, uh, this is really... How's the arm? That's for forcing me to give you the cipher. Well, at least your arm's okay. <laughs> I guess. Yes, it's not bad. Dao Gamora would say the same. Speaking of my dear sister, bet you got an earful. What'd she say about me? That I'm a waste of space. That I deserve everything I've been through. She says that you won't talk to her. She's really broken up about how you two fell apart. <laughs> well, that's pretty much all thanks to her. I bet she forgot to mention how she ruined our family. How she destroyed my life. Yeah, well, that's not how it looked to me. What do you mean? When we were in the temple, I saw Gamora's memory of your last mission. Oh, yeah? What did you see? She saved your life from that Kree general dude. I mean, he would have killed you if Gamora hadn't stepped in. No, he wouldn't have. You have no idea what really happened that day. And neither does Gamora. Not all of it, at least. Then show me. Now, please take my hand. If this kills me, I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> okay. Question will have clean as nickel. I think we're actually clean as the character's nickel. At least. And so they're just like a little bit of fighting with them. Okay, well, I'm going to leave that episode here. Please, if you liked it, drop a like, and I'll hope to see you in the next episode.